Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 16th through the 22nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. Alright, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Wands. You're feeling very passionate, moving forward in a particular direction that feels good to you. So that's good. That's always good. Okay. In the recent past, the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. You win some, you lose some. There's a soul connection here that you're showing to me. Uh, there's you at times trying to keep your distance, then at times kind of jumping into this energy of... Hmm, I wonder if we could try to make this work, you know. So it's a little bit of an in and out kind of an energy when it comes to the soul connection here. Um, in the current situation, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, you're embracing a brand new beginning here. It's shown up like crazy here. And it's definitely setting you up for open doors, left and right, you know. So you're entering almost, like I almost see you in this foggy kind of a place and then you're entering a very clear space and then you see all these doors opening up everywhere you know so it's really cool in the way it shows up here as long as you keep your heart open you're going to be able to clear out the fog basically and jump into this very clear energy cool um in the immediate future the death card the judgment card the two of pentacles there's a little bit of indecision here. There's a little bit of, you know, how sometimes you get to that crossroad and you're like, if you don't follow your gut instinct and the minute you got there, you lost it. You're like, oh, shit. Where do I go now? Let's see. You know? So you're kind of in that place with this one, but it possibly has to do with ending something or, you know, just kind of leaving something behind you there. So let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Knight of Wands. You get the Knight of Wands again, the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot. You're on the right path here. By the looks of it, with all of these cards coming through, it looks like you're on the right path. You're following something that inspires you, something that you feel good with. So it's definitely, I don't know what you're doing and where you're going here, but keep on going. Let's do the Six of Cups in the recent past. Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, the Judgment card. Yeah, this is a back and forth kind of a situation. It's something that you may have wanted for things to be stable here. I don't think they ever were. There's definitely a sense of back and forth with it. There's definitely a sense of, oh, I love you for like a month. And then let's spend the next 10 months arguing or eh, I don't want this, you know, something, something, something. I feel like you've learned from the situation a lot as you went along with it. Um, let's do the Six of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Definitely taught you to head in the direction of self. You know, when in doubt, go towards self, basically. Um, that was a good one. A good, very important lesson for you that this situation taught you. You know, I feel like you were shy in the beginning to go there. Being like, oh, okay, I'll go there okay, if I have to, but... Eventually, you know, with practice, I feel like you did it. Where you learned this lesson to put yourself first there. Um, for the Seven of Pentacles, you get the Eight of Cups, the Temperance card, the Devil. Now, this is an interesting one. Because, you know, as I said, the back and forth that comes with this situation. Uh, a lot of, of the back... Definitely taught you to put yourself first, to think about yourself, to take care of yourself there. A lot of the fourth energy of let's try again or, you know, things like that. If you look back at that in case you healed this energy, because there's a lot of healing that needs to be happening there. Um, I wonder if you see it now in the sense of why the hell did I go back? 
Because if you would have been honest with yourself, you would have seen how disconnected you were from it. So it's kind of like, while you were doing it, maybe asking yourself at times, why the hell am I even doing this? And not paying attention to that, you know, because there was, there was quite the answer there. Because you were disconnected from the whole situation. You were disconnected from yourself emotionally. A lot of the times when you wanted to go back and try again and try to work on things or things like that, you were definitely disconnected from yourself. I don't know exactly what you were pursuing outside of yourself when you were trying, but it was something that wasn't in alignment with you and what your needs were. And it seems to be coming through as a pattern, almost like, why does it take me there? It takes me into a place of the unachievable, like something that you can't have. Well, I got to go chase it because I can't have it, which doesn't make sense. It's, it's, I mean, you can spot it in, in people in general. You can see that they're chasing a lot of the times things that they think they can't have. So that would be the pattern there. I'm not sure if it's still with you or if this situation actually taught you a lot about that. But definitely no connection to the situation. So it's like, let me go after it. Why? I don't know. When in all reality, the answer would have been because I can't have it. That's why I'm chasing it. You know, interesting uh, energy right there. Let's do the Knight of Cups in the current situation. Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay, I like this energy. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles. This feels so freaking right. For the Ace of Pentacles, you got the Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. Let's do the Seven of Cups. Wow. The Fool, the Moon, the Magician. Okay. So you're showing me an energy. So again, we're coming back to this brand new beginning that you're creating or you're jumping into foggy times and then poof, clear. Um, the thing is, when I see this energy, when I see only you taking on this energy, it's looking freaking amazing. It's like you're doing a great job. Keep on doing it. Keep on relying on yourself. They're 100% and you're, you're on top of things. And then you're showing me a sense of partnership. So it could be that along the way you find people to work with or, you know, here and there. Because I don't see this as a, from the get-go, as someone being there by your side as you're going through this. I see them showing up. When they do show up, it gets foggy again, which is quite interesting. It gets like, hmm, what's going on? Like a bump in the road kind of a thing. Um, like you're trying to open yourself up to possibly working with others along the way here but it's becoming difficult, it's becoming confusing, it's becoming like, ew, what's going on? Uh, when, again, when it's just you, no other energy that you're open to, uh, you're doing great here. Sometimes it's gonna feel like, oh my God, I'm not doing much or I'm not doing shit. Um, and maybe that's why you're leaning towards, let me see if I can work with someone here, maybe that'll be helpful. Not really, it's not showing up like that. It's showing up as almost like, not dragging you down, but definitely pausing you, you know? So I would keep that in mind because you've got all the resources available for you to do whatever this is on your own. Um, not saying reject everybody from now on. Take them on. But when you see that, you know, you're stumbling when you are working with another energy, give it another thought. And if you think that, hold on, I can do this by myself, go at it and do it. There's going to be energies from the outside that are going to be helpful on this path too, but just pay attention to them. You know, most of them seem like they, they pause you for some reason, not because they want to. It almost feels like a challenge from the universe to see how much you can step into your power here, you know, um, more than anything, but I don't know. There's definitely one in particular, one partnership in particular that it, it feels like at times you're stumbling whenever you're working with them or, and again, it looks like a great partnership there, but for some reason, it's just not necessarily flowing, you know, for the direction that you're setting, setting yourself up for. So 
Let's do the Death card in the immediate future, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Justice card. Interesting. Let's do the Judgment card, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Two of Cups. Interesting. And let's do the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords. That's very interesting because it's a very good point that's coming up here. So I see you starting to recognize when, especially this partnership, kind of sets you up in that place of uh, what's going on here. Did we stop? Are we still moving here? Like what's going on? Um, I see you making the tough decision that, you know what, I'll, I'll think I'll try this on my own for a little bit. And if you're meant to catch up, you'll catch up. That's all of this right here, where you're realizing, and that's coming from that valuable lesson that whatever that situation was taught you to put yourself first, you know, and to trust yourself and to trust that you have everything it takes to take this on. And you're doing that here. And sometimes it comes with tough decisions. And this is a tough one. But what I love about it is that you leave the space open, you know, like if whoever this is, is meant to work with me. They're going to catch up. They're going to be with me right there. But for right now, because they're in this place of, I don't know, we're together. If we work together, we're kind of more or less in the way of one another. Let's just, you know, separate for a little bit. And then if you, if, if one of us will catch up, whoever's up ahead of the game will definitely drag the other one with them if it's meant to be like that. It's kind of looking like that's what it is here, you know? Someone has to make the tough decision to make things right for everybody involved. And it's like, okay, I'll go my way, you go yours. And then it all comes together in time in a beautiful synchronicity. Um, again, if it's meant to, because I, I see the energy available for that, which tells me that you're allowing that space for that energy to, to step in there. Now it's just a matter of whoever this is to jump on that on that boat. But it's really up to them. And time will tell. Time will tell. Determination will tell. But for now, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. I like this reading. I like this reading because you're, you're showing me awareness from all sorts of angles here. And especially for creating the space for the energies to kind of fall into place, you know, instead of being like, mm, you're fucking me up right now. You, you, you're good for nothing. Move out of the way. I got this. <laughs> None of that. And then, you know. The only thing that you can do to help is to um, step into your power there and take matters into your own hands and then things will align properly. So it's quite interesting how everything is uh, unfolding here for you. Let's see what the universe has as a final advice for you. The Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Mm. Whatever this is, is it related to the past then? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Maybe it's one of those where you're setting yourself free from a situation for a little bit. Or maybe you're deciding to set each other free. Because it feels a little bit like that. It feels that maybe it is tied up to the past situation. To that soul connection there. Where you kind of tried from the same level. And now it's kind of like, you know what? I think it's time to, to free myself here. Because you're definitely making this decision. You're the one that kind of is like, okay, I need my freedom for a little bit. And then if you catch up, you catch up. If not, no. So you're in a, it's almost looking like you're in a trial period here uh, to see how this goes, you know, with allowing each other to be free a little bit from the whole let's do it together kind of a thing. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting perspective. But if it's not that, even though I kind of get it that it's tied up to that. <clears throat> but if it's not that, whatever this is, is going to unfold, you just got to give it time. You know, it's going to get to where it needs to go. In a pretty stable place by the looks of it. So anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.